Today I'm starting a series where we're going to learn about club competitions. I talk about them a lot in my videos. I'm going to give you background every once in a while on the ones that I'm talking about so you know what I'm talking about. We're going to talk about who plays in these competitions, why they're important, and where they're played. We're going to start with the FIFA Club World Cup. This one is played every December. It's held by FIFA. It's their way of finding out who the champion club of the world is. Each continent in the world, other than Antarctica, has its own top competition. You're probably familiar with the Champions League in Europe. There are three other continents who have this similarly named competition, with North America having the Champions Cup and South America having the Copa Libertadores. The FIFA Club World Cup, as it stands now, is held in December and has the winner of all six of those, plus a host country's club, play together in a competition to come to a final to see who the Club World Cup champion is. So here's the format. That's seven teams, which means nine games. It's a bracket system. It's a knockout single match in each round. The first game is always played between the club that's hosting and the winner from Oceania, and that's almost always Auckland City from New Zealand. The winner of that then goes into the corner finals where they meet North America, Asia, and Africa. The winner of those go into the semifinals where they meet either Europe or South America. The winners of those go to the final. The losers go into a third place match. So that's the basic format and how they've been doing it since it came into being in the year 2000. Prior to that, what you could consider the champion of the world would be the winner of what was called the Intercontinental Cup. It was a competition generally played over one or previously over two legs, home and away, between the champion of Europe, so the Champions League in UEFA, and South America's champion of the Copa Libertadores. Their leading winner of it all time is Real Madrid, having won five titles. Nobody outside of Europe or South America has ever won a title. Only six teams outside of those two continents have ever actually made a final. And the current winners are Manchester City of Europe, having won 4-0 against Fluminense just this last December. And now that I've told you how this competition works, completely forget all of it because the competition format is changing next year, with FIFA still continuing the Club World Cup name, but changing it to be a format pretty much like you're used to with the World Cup between nations. So here's how it's going to work for next year. It's going to be pretty much exactly like a World Cup between nations if you're used to that. Quick details on that. There are going to be 32 different clubs that play in this competition. They'll be broken into eight groups of four clubs. They'll each play each other one time, so each club in the competition gets at least three games. The top two finishers on points in those groups goes into a bracket round of 16, breaking down to a final. The only thing different from a World Cup is there's no third place match like there is with the current Club World Cup. Another big change is it's going to be every four seasons now. Instead of every December, it's going to be every fourth year in June and July. So pretty much like a World Cup. Because it's every four years, it's not going to be just the winners from the club competitions on each continent from that season, but take into account the last four winners from each rendition, with each continent getting a different amount of clubs that get to compete to make up that 32-club set. The way that breaks down between continents is 12 clubs from Europe, six from South America, four each from Africa, Asia, and North America, and one from Oceania, with the final 32nd club being a host nation's club. So the winners of the last four iterations of the competitions in five of the six continents go directly into the Club World Cup. In Oceania, the best competitor and finisher in the last four goes in. And then there's the club nation. There's pros and cons for either way for how this is going to go. I'm not a huge fan of the change here. FIFA's actually made an interesting choice already in bringing back the Intercontinental Cup to occur in place of the current format of the Club World Cup in December. The only change they're making there is the European team goes directly into the final, which is a little Eurocentric. The pros and cons here are you get to see a competitive competition between clubs during the summer. If you're in the United States, you'll see friendly matches these days between big clubs from Europe and a couple from South America maybe, but they're not the biggest players playing and it's not the most competitive match. This potentially would give you those kind of matches across the United States, although this is likely to only occur in the East Coast states. There are more cons to this competition in my opinion. The biggest one is player welfare. We're adding more and more games to their schedules, especially in the off season. Most leagues around the world don't play their matches during the summer. That's the off season. That's when players need to recuperate and rest. We're not giving them more rest. We're taking it away from them every four years on top of all the other matches that are already played during the summer. This is just more of something that people aren't really asking for. This is one of those competitions that doesn't get a lot of glory, doesn't get a lot of viewership, and I don't think that's going to change just because we're expanding the amount of clubs in it and changing it to four years to be similar to a World Cup, which is a huge event for everybody around the world. This one I don't think will be. It's an important tournament to be able to win once, but the thing is, it's not that big going forward for anybody else. 
I expect it's going to be a lot of fun this time around in the United States. This is a great time to be a fan in the United States. But beyond that, I don't think this is the right competition and the right change, especially for FIFA to make. They've also added in that Intercontinental Cup rebirth in December. That's the way we should stick with things. Going forward, it should be a pretty much the same format every year in December called the Intercontinental Cup because that is more traditional and a lot more fun. And I think the way we should be going about this competition.